Starry Night. Here live. Bird song, but it looks like it is the middle of the night. Welcome to Como Rebi. You have chosen to take part in a personal experience. Personal experience. In exchange for that, we have given you several options to use. In exchange for that? Oh. Feel free to do so at your leisure. Your experience will be divided into fragments like these. Right now, there's only fragments. one. Try saving and then interact with this fragment. Oh. Okay, so there's the file that I just saved. Alternatively, feel free to enjoy the view. I would love to enjoy the view. What is it? Experience opening fragment and new beginning. Okay. But well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, that's just the cursor. I thought that was an arrow pointing left. But there's nothing over there. There's nothing. There's... Okay. Experience opening fragment. A new beginning. beginning. Fear of the future must not define us. It is regrets of the past that make us who we are. My eyes flutter as I linger on the precipice of a peaceful sleep. the save button. <laughs> well, it kind of looks like it's coming out of the save button. Cars pass by, then fade away, lulling me like mechanical waves on a suburban ocean. However, as enticing as slumber may seem, this is not the time or the place. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's, it's uh... <laughs> Busy freeway, I think. I don't see any cars here, but this does not look like a place to to be sleeping. As we drive, yes, of course, we are driving. As we drive, I keep myself awake with pleasant thoughts. Thoughts both old and new. Those vehicles that passed by, where were they going? And where did they come from? I dig deeper and start to wonder who those people were. Who they loved and held dear. Billions of people, all with lives fundamentally different from mine. It's a lot to take in. But is that difference a good thing or a bad thing? I stop to think and I can find no answer. Oh, I'm a deeply philosophical narrator. As many people say, though, the unknown is alluring. That's part of why I'm sitting here right now. Does this say Nyan in the background? <laughs> it says Nyan. And this architecture, it's, I mean, it's both familiar in like the complexity of those humongous highways, but it seems like these highways are very high off the ground, and this, like, spiraling into this, like, building or whatever it is, also is, like, unfamiliar. Cool, very cool world building. I feel a tap on my shoulder, and I let out a loud yawn, giving my friend a slight smile. It isn't long before I receive one in return. Oh, cozy. I already have a good friend next to me. This game is off to a good start. At least we were both on the same page. There'd be plenty of time to sleep later on. 
Hey, you all right over there? Ever since we left the airport, you've been dozing off like mad. I thought it was pretty good company, you know? You're not sending me. I shake my head, as if doing so would grant me further clarity. Okay. Oh, a dialogue system similar to that of um, Winds of Change. I'm, I'm staring at, at this guy's art, because it's like, he doesn't really look shaded. Um, but the light is from the back, so I mean, like, what can you ask for? Um, yeah, and there, there, I can see that there are, you know, traces of shading there. Honestly, I... Oh! <laughs> Pretty boring. I was already planning a return flight home. What makes you think you can make... You can wake me up like that. Just feeling a little homesick. That's all. Man, I love going extreme on my routes through games because I like to see the like the extreme effects that it has on the world and the characters. But I've got a feeling. Now I didn't play all the way through Winds of Change, but I've got a feeling that going through the combative route is not going to be, you know, all that rewarding. And I feel like this thumbs up route is probably gonna be, you know, kind of vanilla. So I mean, there's like a peacemaking, romance, and fatigue or angst. Now if I go fatigue angst through the whole thing, I feel like I feel like I'm just gonna be isolating myself from everyone. Which also might not be that rewarding, but I kind of want to see how the characters react to me taking on uh, a, a, a depressive kind of persona. So I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try for the the angst or or fatigue option. Just feeling, just feeling a little homesick. That's that's all. Ah, that's perfectly understandable. This is a big change for you, and pretty sudden, too. Perfectly understandable, this is... Yeah, I like getting... I like being able to share my feelings with the characters and have a feeling... Have the characters echo my feelings back, too. Just take your time. Nobody expects anything instant here. Besides, transition. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. Was that it? Was that the loud beeping noise? Or was that, or is that just part of the soundtrack? I don't really know. Light on the dashboard starts to flash, causing him to groan in. It probably was just part of the soundtrack. Distracted driving? Of course. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got a modern car. Modern for the Apparently, for this thing doesn't want me talking to my friend. I guess it thinks you're a risk? Maybe you should take that as a compliment. Oh, I mean, I would take it as a compliment, but I'm trying to be... trying to be edgy and aloof. I shrug, unsure of how to respond, as I rest my head on the window. According to the system, Almost everything was a risk these days. It wasn't worth losing the points, so we sit and remain in silence. Oh boy. It's taking a real, uh, a real Black Mirror kind of vibe here. What was that? Was that it? Was that the fragment? Apparently not. A few moments later, the silence is finally broken. Such a jarring transition. I, am I am I looking through someone else's memories or my own memories? I'm thankful, as things were starting to get a little awkward. But I guess meeting someone for the first time is always like that. 
is he an internet friend that I'm meeting the first time? And oh, when, I, when I move the mouse around, we've got all this very gentle, very gentle panning of the background. I really like that. It just gives it a more visceral kind of feel. Well, it was nice of him to pick you up from the airport. Isaac, right? Oh, who's this guy? Is this the new guy that I'm meeting? Make sure to keep people like him close by during a change like this. Things may seem a bit uncertain right now, but remember, that's not a bad thing. It, um, perhaps this is the new guy that I'm meeting, and Isaac is, is my best friend. Yes, of course I would keep him close to me. Placing it on the table between us, he slowly slides it over to my side of the room. I pick it up and inspect it for a few moments. It's a basic question. If you could just fill out the basics, that would be great. Well, I should not talk over. Obviously, I know who you are, but we need to leave a paper trail. You fill that out, and I'll decide our topics for the day, all right? Why do we need to leave a paper trail? Topics? Oh, this guy. This guy is the is the counselor. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I saw him in uh in um online on, on the Kickstarter. Hmm. I nod, grabbing the pen that rests on the table beside me. These these sessions were always boring, especially the first few were always boring. So yes, these are definitely memories in the past. It seems. Unless I've had a different therapist before, but I, it's, I seem to be remembering, recalling my first meeting with this therapist. A new, oh, here we go, a new city and a new counselor. Right back to square one. After filling out the form, I place it on the table and slide it back. The counselor picks it up, inspects it, and gives me a knowing nod. All that aside, I assume that you still prefer the name Delta? It was mentioned in the note sent over by your previous counselor. I like that name. I think Delta, hear me out, hear me out, theory, theory here, Delta in a mathematical or, or physics kind of engineering maybe kind of sense. I'm not an engineer. But delta means the difference that something changes by, by which something changes. But maybe the difference by which something moves or is moved, the delta. I am going to be that difference in the world of the characters that I interact with. My theory. Don't worry, it's normal. A lot of people your age shy away from their birth name. Wow, I feel, I feel seen. Why spend our lives with something that's been decided for us, right? Things are a lot more flexible than we give them credit for. Things are a lot more flexible than we give them credit for. That includes the future, a fact that people tend to forget. I really don't know where he's going with this. He taps the papers against his lap, straightening them out. Allow me to be a little blunt. I mean, we both know why you're here. My practice focuses on people like yourself, those who saw nothing. Honestly, that's a very small group. It must get lonely for you sometimes. Really liking the world building here. He's giving hints. Clay's is giving us hints about the world, and there, there. And I just love the way, the way, the way this is being teased. Those who saw nothing, a very small group. I shrug. I mean, I suppose this has been part of me my whole life. This seeing nothing. Thing. There's a single question I like to ask my new patients. So, excuse the cliché, but how does that make you feel? 
being alone while billions receive a glimpse of the future. <laughs> I thank him for rubbing it in, ensuring that the sarcasm is clear. It's the opposite, actually. I meant to give you some support. Imagine being constrained by a vision of your future, consumed by it. You have what some people would call freedom, a truly blank slate. Hmm. Remember, Komarebi is a relatively new phenomenon. Society has flourished for thousands of years without it. Komarebi. The sunlight filtering through through the trees is what they have named this future site that people have, these visions. Fascinating. Oh, and I, I get it, like light coming through leaves, like the future coming through, coming through to people. Okay, that, that kind of makes sense. Um, assuming that these visions are beautiful. I mean, maybe, maybe they're not, all, not always optimistic or beautiful, um, but fascinating choice of names. Society has flourished for thousands of years without it. Some would consider your situation a blessing. Don't forget that. Just noticing that he has, he has black pads on his fingertips, but not on the, the palm of his hand. Okay, that's a design choice. Mm. I can tell he's giving a speech that he's given many times before. Because of that, it seems to lose some of its impact and wisdom. As I close my eyes, I simply hope that this is all over soon. Oh, oh, oh. We're, we're going to a new memory now, again. I mean, I suppose it's part of the same fragment, but just different part of the memory, I guess. We are fast forwarding in my memory fragment. The TV report continues, and I open my eyes with slight hesitation. I've only been here a few days, and rest is almost impossible to find. A new start to your life is always stressful, after all. Uh, at least I have friends. Ugh, I can't believe they're making us watch this. A hundred years of visions? <laughs> Nobody cares! Looks like Argus just wants to stroke their own ego. Oh, Argus. The corporation providing the visions? Dante leans forward, taking the opportunity to chime in. Yeah, this is more about the system than anything else. Maybe they should fix all the glitches before boasting. Dante. Dante and Isaac. Watch. Soon it'll say talking over their propaganda is risky. Isaac leans forward, whispering as if the topic is sensitive. You're not supposed to badmouth the system, Dante. <laughs> as if my score could get any lower, man. <laughs> Besides, Delta has definitely seen my true colors by now. I'm under no obligation to keep up the nice guy act. Why does it have to be an act? Can't you just, you know, be nice? <laughs> I kind of find it funny that Isaac is the nice guy, whereas Dante is not being the nice guy. I mean, he, he, is, he has been expressing a little bit of cynicism, um, but they both seem really nice. Dante scoffs. <laughs> Too much effort, not enough caffeine. <laughs> and you know the system is messed, Feels Isaac. Like... We're all on a leash. They just use Komarebi as an excuse to make it stay that way. Totally. Totally. Thanks for filling me in, Dante. Can't argue with that one. Hey, Delta, didn't you have an appointment soon? Maybe I can use you as an excuse to stop watching this thing. And you're telling me to be nice. <laughs> See, they both 
I mean, they can't hide it. They both, um, they both are people. They both are, are you know, have, um, they have positive expressions and they, and they have struggles. But, oh, I have an appointment to get to. I laugh at the retort and lean back in an attempt to relax. I let Isaac know that he was right, but my appointment wasn't for a while. Plenty of time to gather my thoughts and continue watching this report. Yeah, I definitely need to gather my thoughts. So I'm in a new place, finding it hard to relax. I wonder what's going on. Like, what have I been doing with my time? I'm sure, I mean, as we all know, if you are cooped up inside of a place with nothing to do, that would definitely be stressful and hard to get used to. Uh, and I wonder if that is the case. Do I have a job? Do I, am I between jobs? Am I allowed to go outside and shop for myself? Do I get places? Can I walk? There is a fog over my mind, and I feel so scatterbrained. Grounding myself in this new environment would definitely help. I read that wrong. I read that wrong. I thought grounding meant like immersing myself in this new environment so suddenly, but no. Grounding, grounding myself in this new environment would definitely help. <sighs> Come on, Remy. Appointment. The system. Interact News with report. each word to learn more about it. Oh. It's time to interact. <sighs> Upon interacting with all four, your experience will continue. Fascinating. Definitely, I can see how this is a um, a continuation of Clay's storytelling style. Um, the way in Winds of Change, there was definitely a lot of like guided interaction, where you had to, or you were very much encouraged to do all the interactions that you could in a space. Um, here, we have to interact with all four, which does feel. It is a little more forced than Winds of Change, but the way Komarebi is clothing this as, or, or presenting it as an exploration of the character's thoughts, I think is, is a very cool way to do it. To me, it feels a little more seamless and more immersive. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm all about the storytelling style here. One day, the world was changed forever. Billions of people experienced vivid visions of the future. These could not be mistaken for dreams. It seems to be true precognition. The visions that people had would follow them for the rest of their lives. That's scary. Re replaying at the worst possible times. It was almost like an intrusive thought. Whether positive or negative in nature, these visions still consumed lives. Okay, so this is kind of a very foreign thing to people. Um, it seems that people don't get comfortable with these visions. Which... <laughs> who called it Como Remi? Who called it Como Remi? Who wanted us to believe that these visions were the essence of beauty. Nobody knew how or why this happened, but it was far too late. Chaos ensued. Those who saw personal success went to great lengths to fulfill their visions. Those who saw personal failures did anything they could to avoid them. It wasn't just a one-time event, either. Como Rebi overstayed its welcome. Children and grandchildren grew up alongside this odd phenomenon. They, too, experienced their own visions around the age of 13. 
The world became obsessed with the future, obsessed with Komorebi. It was a word describing sunlight that shines down through the trees. Komorebi. A simple and poetic metaphor for the visions filtering into our world. Let's see. So, I, the main character, have organized my thoughts on Komorebi into a cohesive, linear account. Appointment, the system. Let's let's continue on with learning about this world. The system. Because of the chaos that ensued during the advent of Komorebi, a plan was needed. There were too many people acting recklessly in the face of their futures. Whether avoiding or fulfilling the visions, risky behavior was a constant. A new system was introduced that governed the behavior of the people. Oh no. Oh no. When there is a need for a system, there will arise a very powerful system. A power vacuum. You would be held accountable for all of your actions, regardless of legality. This was an attempt to keep people in line and focused on the present. Live in a safe, orderly manner, and you'd accrue points over your lifetime. If you did the opposite, you'd lose points. Be rude, speak, litter, stuff like that. Your point total would define you as either an asset or a liability to society. While primitive at first, this concept grew as technology progressed. It is currently integrated into every possible device. Phones, cars, homes. The demand is clear. Be rewarded for your subservience to the system. Crime and accident rates plummeted due to this, and society is on a tight leash. But some people argue that living in chains isn't really living at all. Life is all about taking risks and making progress, as they say. They say. <laughs> as they say. I was gonna say, who says that? But, yeah, valid, valid life philosophy. Life is definitely about making progress, and you have to take you have to take risks. Fight as they might, however, no movement has resulted in any change. Your worth in society is dictated solely by your score in the system. Generations later, managing your points is simply the norm. I'm kind of hoping this doesn't become a normal thing, this sorting through the thoughts. Like, it's a great way to introduce the story, but, um, oh, oh, I, oh again, the immersive UI, but it, it, I think this could get old after a while. While the Komorebi phenomenon was peculiar, there was also something else. Some people saw nothing, left left completely in the dark, with no vision at all. Less than 1% of the world experienced this, a very small group, but it was still extremely worrying. What did seeing nothing mean? Were you dead? Nobody knew. Were you dead? That kind of seems like a silly question. But you could be a ghost and seeing nothing if you don't, because you don't have a future, I guess? Uh, I don't know. Depression and suicidal ideation became commonplace among this group. They are assigned a counselor who meets with them on a regular basis. I am one of those people. I never experienced my own vision. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm trying to figure out what kind of what kind of voice I want to project onto this narrator. Should I be making this out to be a healthy thing to be accustomed to? I don't know. I don't know. But as someone who has lived this way my entire life, I must be accustomed to it by now. I must, I must find a way to thrive not having any visions, without having any visions. I must make, I must stay positive. People always worry for me and fear that I may do something rash. In reality, however, I'm fine. My lack of a vision has never defined me. Because I moved to a new city to live with friends, I was given a new counselor. It's kind of lame to start all over, after spending so many years with the last one. But I'm told that this doctor is great, and I'll feel at home in just a few sessions. Okay. Very well explained. Today marks the 100th anniversary of Coma Reddit. The 100th anniversary. Oh, so likely news to spin it like that. Nothing has ever been the same since then, and I don't think it ever will be. Oh, well, this is still me talking. But this clearly was the news report on the 100th anniversary of Komorebi. The current state of technology and society is vastly different than it would have been. At the top of it all, right next to the world leaders, is the Argus Corporation. They created the system. They create almost every device we use today. Danger, 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 Will Robinson! <laughs> In many ways, they affect our lives even more than those in power. The report, the report is basically going over the history of Komorebi and Argus, but to be honest, it seems a little self-serving and very unnecessary. Surely I would never say these thoughts out loud for fear of losing points. Isaac was right. It's like they just want to stroke their own egos. They made it mandatory viewing, too. If you ignore the special report, you lose some points. Essentially, our social status is being held for ransom. But if there's one thing that nobody can monitor, it's what I'm thinking of. So while I'm watching, at least I have time to gather my thoughts. Well, I don't know if I could ever gather my thoughts while watching the news, but Kudos to the narrator. Kudos to me. In the game world. I let out a soft sigh. And everything suddenly feels better. Yes. A deep breath for the win. Organizing thoughts for the win. It's crazy how much a quick mental breather can help. My last counselor is the one who taught me that. He told me that our mind is like an office full of filing cabinets. If we don't gather our thoughts, they just lay around, piling up. We need to set some time aside to process and filter them. Sometimes a simple metaphor like that can really change the way you think. Unwanted thoughts can be thrown away like trash while you organize the rest. I have a lot of unwanted thoughts that need to be thrown away like trash. I will take that into my real life. If our mind was a physical space, we'd never neglect it. We'd keep it immaculate. I wish my physical space was immaculate. 
as if it was perfectly timed, the report ends along that train of thought. The energy level in the room immediately skyrockets now that we're free. How free are we now? Huh. Honestly, it was a waste. That was an hour we'll never get back. Oof. That never fails to concern me. An hour. An hour. Holy crap, man. Feels like we're back in uh, back in high school again. <laughs> Mandatory assemblies and all that. You know? uh, those were a thing most people experience, right? Something, something tells me these first few sessions will be a total bust. I never found it fun to talk about myself, and now I'm forced to do it. Hopefully the notes my last counselor sent over will help him get up to speed. You know, you're something of an anomaly to me. Most people in your situation have less than stellar scores. Quote-unquote situation. Well, you know, in this game, I'm not normal. I'm part of a group of less than 1%. So, you know, it's alright to be referred to as different. But you seem to exist in the middle. A truly neutral ground. Wait, 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 wait. Did he say stellar scores? He said stellar scores, which is... Fascinating. If we're prone to having problems, then I would guess that we are, you know, antisocial a lot of the time. People who don't have visions, by, by we. By we, I mean people who don't have visions. But maybe because we are assigned to counselors, we tend to have better mental health and better behavior. I don't know. But I seem to exist in the middle, a truly neutral ground. A preliminary look at your risk profile shows yes, me almost that's nothing. Me. But, on the other hand, you haven't done much to gain points, either. Another ambiguous statement. I ask him if that was good or bad. I don't know, actually. I wouldn't be able to tell you. This guy is... His facial expressions are... Vulnerable. It touched my heart. <laughs> it's a little ironic, though, isn't it? In regards to the system, I mean. Your score is meant to define you as a person, yet you elude that definition. Yes, yes, I do. I suppose I do. <sighs> he sighs. Then again, I'm no stranger to attracting those that go against the norm. Would you mind answering a few personal questions for me, Delta? Nothing too intrusive. I just want to get a feel for who you are. I, I thought we did this already in the questionnaire at all. But fire away. I nod, seeing no harm in this. It's, it's why I'm here, after all. Well then, let's start with the basics. Oh, the basics. Why did you move here? What did you leave behind? Big life changes like this are rarely without cause. That's exactly what I want to know about myself. I shrug, unsure of where to start. There was a lot to say, and little time to say it. At least we have our first few sessions cut out for us. That just is... Why does every transition feel like a feel like a freaking the only thing needed to secure your defeat is holding the belief that you've already won welcome to the first of four fragment maps oh there's a lot here there's a lot to look at here the key to securing your defeat is believing that you've already won what does why am I being told that now? 
I suppose to tell me that this transition does not have a guaranteed success, a guaranteed good outcome. Perhaps. I must be positive, but not arrogant in navigating this transition. First of four fragment maps. This is how you will navigate through your personal experience. Is this the system talking to me? The top row is made up of pivotal fragments. Pivotal fragments. Which is the fragment that I just experienced right now? I don't feel like I see any of the backgrounds there, except for this one. This is, this is the, the counselor's office. You must complete all six, but can complete them in any order. This, am, this is really ambitious. I feel, I feel like the way that Winds of Change got through, um, with having a lot of dialogue paths that could be uh, traversed in any order, was by making all of them very vague and non-committal uh, about the way that the characters talk about the topics. Here. In order to make this work, I think it's it, it's gonna have to be written so well. In order to make this work, I can complete these in any order. Upon completing all six, you can interact with this arrow to move forward. Okay. You will witness a culmination of this fragment map before moving on to the next. A culmination. What will I witness as a culmination of this fragment map? The second row consists of personal heart-to-heart -heart fragments. Love it. These are optional, but highly recommended, as they are the key to forming bonds and relationships. Optional, but highly recommended. So I assume that if, if I don't do these heart-to-hearts, I'll only, oh, excuse me, I'll only be missing out? Or will characters actually respond to me not engaging with them? This is what I'm curious about and I want, I want to know, I want to know, so that I can, so that I can really test the limits of these characters. <laughs> uh, right now, right? you only have access to Isaac and Dante. But that will change as things progress. The bottom row consists of supplemental fragments. These are skits based on exchanges made in your group's chat room. The skits based on exchanges. For your benefit, they will be portrayed just like any other fragment. Okay, I'm on board with that. Upon completing a pivotal fragment, you will unlock a journal entry. These explore Delta's personal thoughts as events slowly unfold. There will be five to unlock in each fragment map, and they unlock in a predetermined order. Five to unlock, and they unlock in a predetermined order. Do I have Should you wish, you can also toggle the Nostalgia Filter. Nostalgia Filter? This will apply a vintage look to your experience. <laughs> yes, turn it on! <laughs> now ready to continue your journey filter. unhindered. Check marks will appear beside completed fragments, so you can monitor your progress. It is also recommended that you alternate between various fragment types. Hmm. Is it? Is it really? Is it recommended? Enjoy, and make it an experience to remember. Hmm. Fascinating that I'm being told to make it an experience to remember. As if, as if this experience has been curated for me, for my enjoyment, which it very much has. Which it very much has. Very, very meta. Now 
Now, I wonder if doing the heart to hearts. Or what were they called? Personal fragments? I'm just gonna call them heart to hearts. I wonder if doing the heart to hearts um, is going to affect the fragments that I play through afterward. Because that could give me a good reason to do the heart to hearts first. But then again, if they're meant to be done in any order... I kind of want to do them in just a natural order. Which, you know... You, you, life tends to consist of... Solo experiences and... Shared experiences and deep conversations all interwoven together. So I don't think I really want to do all of... All of the fragments first, and then all of the hearts, hearts, and then all of the optional ones. I, I kind of want to. I, 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 I do want to take the recommendation to to intersperse them, you know, as I can, as they become unlocked. Um, and there's a journal. Okay, I should check the time. Oh, gasp! It is already 9:44. Nostalgia filter. Would you like to change the status of the nostalgia filter? Yes, yes, do it. Oh. This is... This is possibly a bit too nostalgic. It's like... Would you like to change the status of the nostalgia filter? <laughs> it's very dark and black and white. Would you like to change the status of the no I, mean, I, I kind of liked it without the filter, but let me see how this impacts things. I'm just surprised that it got so dark after turning on the nostalgia filter. But maybe that's just for this screen. I don't know. Uh, are these all locked? Experience. Supplemental fragment. Delta's arrival? I, I do need to be wrapping up here. It's a supplemental fragment. Delta's arrival. I mean, if this is part of my character's experience, I definitely want to go through all the supplemental fragments. Uh, I don't know why anyone would want to speedrun this <laughs> and skip those, um, but apparently they are optional for progressing with the game. Yes, the soundtrack is just so good. I'm just listening to the soundtrack. <laughs> You have not unlocked oh. any journal entries. Okay, okay, no journal entries unlocked. Okay, I get... Um, have I done any of these? I don't think I've done any of these. Um, they're meant to be gone through in any order, which... Um, that seems kind of weird. There are a lot of ways to go about this. And... I'm not sure if my experience will be impacted by the order. And I can't really tell, I can't really tell what I'm seeing here. Um, these are all just different environments. This one appears to be a, a table with laptops on it. So possibly like a library or a work a, internet cafe. This one is a place with a TV. Possibly the apartment. Uh, I don't know what that is, don't know what that is. Oh, that's the city outside and this is the, the therapist's office. And this is something else. Okay, I will talk with Isaac and then I will... And then I will take a break. Let's see how, let's see how the nostalgia filter uh, behaves. When Experience heart-to-heart -heart fragment. When we do Isaac this, won. When we do this heart-to-heart -heart fragment. It's such an artificial lens being being used to interpret these memories. Experience heart to heart. I mean, experience. Just experience. Experience. It's like, could I re-experience the fragment? 
I don't know. But it does very much make it sound like... Like all of this is at my own beck and call. For me to experience when and where I want to. This is... Okay, the cursor is still blue, but... This just looks like it's black and white. Like, um... Um, like a color colorblind or, or color... Um... Depleted. What's the word? Color deficient. Color deficient or colorblind. Uh... Option. Which... Is cool. Um... It doesn't really feel that nostalgic, it just looks like we turned the, the whole interface black and white. So, um, I wonder if I can turn this off mid, mid thing, oh, oh I guess not. Oh, well. I enter the living room and notice Isaac sipping a light beer. The TV is on, but he's not really watching it. I can tell he's distracted. There's something he needed to talk to me about. I hope I didn't do anything wrong. He notices my entrance and smiles at me. Some anxiety immediately dissipates. It's always nice to be greeted with a smile. So good. Shifting a bit more to one side of the couch, he gives me ample space to sit beside him. That's exactly what I do, and he turns to face me as much as he can while sitting down. Ugh. You know, this stuff tastes awful. But I wouldn't be drinking it if Taylor didn't tease me. Taylor, 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 who? He wouldn't be drinking it if Taylor didn't tease him? Tease him? I know it's not true, but he keeps talking about my weight. takes another sip of beer. We did buy tons of junk food for this weekend, though. If I take it easy during the week, I can definitely binge on Friday. Might as well take action before something becomes a problem, right? Odd thing to say while drinking a beer at True. Yeah. Sometimes we just replace one problem with another. But don't worry. I care too much about work to do something like that. I only drink on days off, and I always make sure to pace myself. Except this weekend, though. Moderation goes out the window. <laughs> yeah, this weekend, huh? This weekend, we bought a lot of... Okay. It, it, it's, it's, it's junk food weekend. It's not like a not like a banger party, but a junk food weekend. Or... I haven't been to a nightclub in ages. Oh, <sighs> I'm actually kind of nervous. This is not the same symbol, it's just a vanilla conversational quote bubble. Um, but I feel like this is the most asocial of the choices, so I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. I'm I'm gonna fail all my therapy sessions. That's gonna be my goal. I'm gonna I'm gonna fail fitting in with the society. Except I didn't do the combative option earlier. I'm just, I'm just gonna be a. I'm just gonna be closing with myself without lashing out at those around me or being spiky. Kind of figured you were too cool to be nervous. Oh, yeah, totally. Everyone in the dating pool just rushes for the retail workers. I'm not too cool just yet, but there's nothing wrong with that. 
I'm slowly climbing the corporate ladder, though. Emphasis on slowly. He takes one final chug, then crushes the can in his hands. <sighs> Coolness is overrated, though. Coolness is overrated, Isaac. <sighs> There's a bit of an awkward silence after he does this, but I'm not sure why. I ask him if he wanted to meet me here, and ask him if I did something wrong. Oh, no. Not at all. I guess I should have elaborated when I said I wanted to talk. Sorry if you were worrying, I'll handle it better in the future. No, no! <laughs> we can always talk if you want to, I Isaac. I actually wanted to apologize to you, Delta. Your first memory of this house will always be me yelling at Dante. He just struck a chord with me. Has a habit of doing that almost every day. He's always paranoid that Argus will come knocking. But the mods I make to my home are harmless. They'd never care. <laughs> It's more risky for him to remove my modifications. He could easily screw up, and it's all downhill from there. Do anything wrong when you're messing around, and they'll notice. It's like a tightrope. One wrong move, and you're done for. My brain is wired to mess with this stuff. His is not. <sighs> yeah, you're right. I tell him it's fine. We all have things that we're passionate about. Passionate? Yeah. That's the word. I got a little mad, but my intentions weren't bad, you know? I've worked with this tech for my entire life. I know my way around it. I see. He's got extremely specific skills with home security tech, um, smart device tech, but he's a retail worker presumably because, presumably because those skills are, um, are, are hacking in a way. And probably white hat hacking or whatever the gray area is. It's not, it's not condoned in That'd be world. like me going into his room and messing with his writing. You know, making edits here and there so that I feel better about it. Yeah, totally. I just want mutual respect for my hobby and career. It makes sense. Isaac definitely seems to know what he's doing. From my understanding, the amount of Argus tech in this home is minimal. But at the same time, it's not illegal. Bends the rules without breaking them, he says. I guess it's selfish to a degree, though. Because I own this house, I should make sure that everyone feels safe. This situation sucks. I just want to leave all that Argus stuff back at work. Is he saying that to take stuff, to, to, to minimize the tech in this house is, is causing Dante to feel unsafe? That's, I mean, that, that kind of is, is, the, is, is I think what he's saying. Um, but I'm sure Isaac's idea of safety is different <laughs> from that of Dante. It's purely psychological, but to me, Argus is my boss. Nobody wants to go back to a house where their boss is everywhere. Uh, Keeping that stuff to a minimum really helps my home feel like it should. A safe place. He shrugs. At least to me. But I really should consider other people's point of view. 
I'll just end up like Argus if I expect everyone else to live how I want. Speaking of which... Good perspective. Good perspective. We're, we're witnessing growth and character development right here. There's something else I wanted to talk about. I mean, it's the real reason I asked you to meet me here today. That was... I, that was already kind of a deep conversation. Um, there's, there's something else. The apology wasn't the real reason? Interesting. All this talk about how I want things to be... Let's change that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you, Delta. And I wish I had more beer for this. More courage. I'm too much of a nice guy for the path that I want to take in this game. Do I just love all these characters. I, I shouldn't distance myself from them. <laughs> He flushes and rubs the back of his head. I'm pretty sure I know where he's going with this. At least, all signs support my current hypothesis. I just feel like we should get this out of the way as soon as possible. The feeling of tension in the air is starting to damage my calm. But let's face it, you chose to move here. To live with me. Oh, is he... Did you mean anything by that, Delta? This was a lot easier in my head. Really, I'm just curious if you were interested in me. I hope this isn't catching you by surprise. We've been friends online for a while, after all, and moving in here is a pretty big gesture. is a bit closer to me, and he seems much more calm. I guess now that it's out in the open, his anxiety is disappearing. It's never, never easy to bring up the kind of thing he just brought up. I'm curious if the gesture was supposed to mean anything. Oh, I want to say yes! Either way, I'm fine. I just couldn't stop myself from wondering. But if we do go out, expect me to be incredibly awkward. He has been the complete opposite of awkward for the entire, the entire three scenes that I've seen him in. And I've seen him in, in a variety of situations so far. First, first meeting, uh, lounging, and uh, lounging at the TV, and whew, hard, hard conversations. Anything but awkward with this guy. This does seem a bit sudden, but it's also natural. There's, there's always been chemistry between us. And now we live together. It crossed my mind a few times, but it's clearly racing through his. No matter what, though. Friends until the end. There are only two options here. The romance option and the... Everything is good. Let's chill and cool with each other. The thumbs up option. The thumbs up option. I, <laughs> oh. See, on the one hand, this, the thumbs up option would, you know, draw me away from him. But at the same time, if I want him to care about me when I make bad choices, I got it. Gotta get close to his heart. <laughs> Maybe I'm just making excuses, but we could try being more than friends. We could try being more than friends. We could. 
could try. We could try being more than friends. Glad I would to hear like it, that. Delta. Yes, I would like it very much. A real shot in the dark, but my aim was on point. You're willing to try, and that actually means a lot to me. I'm willing to try. You know it. I really love the measured approach that he's taking to this. It's hard. It's hard. It's hard not to go head over heels into a new relationship. So yeah, I, I appreciate that he is willing to take things uh, with a lot of introspection and control. He places a hand on the top of my leg. The world could use more people like you. Right back at you, Isaac. Willing to embrace new experiences, new people even. Everyone else seems to be a creature of routine these days. Too true. <sighs> Argus has made sure of that one. But sometimes a routine is more like a prison. So, let's embrace our freedom. Let's drink beer at 2 p.m. Yes, and it's light beer anyway, so... I've had I've had my share of, of Bud Lights in my lifetime. He smirks and stands up from the couch. I say, why not? And accept his offer to share a beer. The air is clear, and it seems like we can carry on like normal. <laughs> All right, but let's not do this every day. <laughs> Next time, we'll go to the coffee shop and hang out. You know, it could be our first date, or whatever. I would love that. And yes, definitely so much better to get out of the house than to just chill and um, veg. There are, there, are, there are times for vegging, but better to be active and out in society. He leaves the room to retrieve some more beer. I feel like our bonds will become stronger because of what happened. Not only did I learn a lot about him, but we made our situation more clear. This is another milestone in my new life. Every interaction I have while I'm here will settle me in even more. It doesn't feel like home just yet, but every second does more to change that. <laughs> that, that transition is the dark shadow over all of our lives. Just like, just like Argus. Oh yes, I just, I just love this user interface so much. Yes. yes. Would you like to change the status of the nostalgia filter? <laughs> yes. I love coming back to the screen. I love the, the weird curation of fragments of memories. Now, I could... You have already experienced this fragment. Oh. Can't go back. Experience, Supplemental Fragment. Delta's Arrival? Experience, Supplemental Fragment. Noise Complaint. I see. So I wonder, I'm wondering right now if Delta's Arrival would allow me to see that, um, that, that, uh, that outburst that Isaac had against Dante. Which, I'm very curious, very curious to find that out. But the fact that this is being presented to me as memories definitely makes it seem more plausible 
or there's, there's less suspension of disbelief that's required in order for me to play these memories out of order. Because memories, we reflect on memories out of order, whereas when you read a book or watch a movie, there's a story being told in a very specific sequence, and it needs to be told in that sequence in order to make sense. But because these are memories, it makes sense to be reviewing them out of order. And I think this is going to go very well. I am looking forward to playing so much more of this game. Definitely has a more, uh, definitely is a more mature feel than, than Winds of Change. Um, I haven't played Major Minor, but, um, but perhaps Winds of Change could be called a, well, I'm, I'm hesitant to call it a sophomore, uh, effort, because it was very well received, and it was, it was a breakthrough, um, it was a breakthrough for a place to get noticed by so many, uh, by so many mainstream gaming, uh, gaming outlets as well. Um, but this, and what I'm about to say is that this game is going to be so much more polished and mature than Winds of Change. It's looking that way. But also, when a game goes, when a work goes deeper and gives a deeper experience, uh, you might even say a more niche experience, it tends to appeal to a more niche audience. Um, I guess it's just kind of a sad fact of reality. I'm hoping that this gets recognized as being deep, because I feel like it's going to go very deep, and, and, um... Yeah, I feel like I'm going to enjoy this a lot, which I've already said that, so. Thank you guys for watching as I have played through um, my first session of Komorebi by Clace. Until next time. <laughs>